pushing my shit the fuck back. Ah! What makes you want to pay $175 for a haircut? They don't do it right. They's pushing my shit the fuck back. They lines ain't sharp enough. They not steady with the hands. They not real right. They not real right. So what, what were they doing? Were they making your lineup crooked? Were they... Crooked, make my line crooked. So what kind of haircut you get today? Taper, fade. You get a high taper or low taper? High taper. So what are you getting this haircut today for? Just to look good. Trying to look good for your lady? Nah, just for me. Okay, okay. My client has super light corners, but he wants that pressure liner. I comb his hair forward, then slightly taper it, so everything is even for a cleaner line. I determine where his hairline will go straight across, then push the middle back to match the sides. Keeping my strokes consistent to make a ghost line where the hair is light at. Always make sure the line is sharp before adding enhancement. Fill in those light spots and boom. If you're in the Baltimore area and you need this hairline service, click that link in my bio to book your appointment. My boy got two light corners and he has a widow's peak in the middle of his hairline. So I take my 1.5, then I knock the hairs down in that little taper area. Then I get started with my lineup prep so I can work on a clean surface. I make my first guy line in the middle where the widow's peak is. Then I work my way over towards his left corner, lining up his vertical bars and his C-cups on that side. And now I just work my way over to this right side, trying to match it up with the other side as best as I can. Because this side does grow a little bit different. And lastly, you already know, I always make sure I finish off with that razor, man. Hey, man, if you're in the Seattle area, link is definitely in that bio.
service starts at 100. What did you say? You've been with me through two price raises. Huh? What keeps you coming back to this chat? Yeah, man, you're real consistent. Gr great listener to what people want. It's hard to find a consistent barber around here. That's what I'm talking about. I'll definitely keep coming to you. This shit means something to me, man. What did past barbers do that you didn't like? Past barbers would push me back. I I think you made a previous video of Kyle Lick, so they yeah. would they would line me back more and I'm trying to at least preserve my hairline as long as possible. They didn't get the hair right, the texture, they didn't know how to cut it. You came to me when I was at 40, today's price is now 100. What brought you back, even though you know you could go to a different barber for a cheaper price? Consistency. Every time I get a cut, yeah. shit is fire. That's what I'm talking about! I don't even have to even look in the mirror no more because I know it's going to be fire. That's why he's there, baby! I would go to a barber the first time, it'll be alright. After a while, they would just fall off. What are we doing for the haircut today? Skin fade as usual. Mustache goatee, right? Yeah. Let's put you into it.
My guy has a widow's peak and he has a lot of overgrowth in both of his corners. So I make my guy line in the middle, then I work my way over towards his left corner. And then I line up this left side vertical bar. And now I work my way over towards the right side, lining up the vertical bars first, and then connecting that right corner to that guy line that I made in the middle. And lastly, I always make sure I finish off the razor. And with hairlines like this, you kind of got to create your own hairline, but you definitely don't want to do too much. But you see what's going on. If you're in the Seattle area, you're definitely in that bio, man. This is how I brought my client back to life. I took the hair down because that joint was getting a little crazy. I gave him a blurry table with a sharp lineup and I added some waveforms to make it pop a little. Remember how he came in? Now this is how he came out. My boy left flicking right. If you're in Richmond, Virginia and you want the best services, tap the link in my bio to book your appointment today. Big is the Super Bowl, but the difference is it's just My boy got a shit ton of overgrowth making his forehead look too small. Other barbers make it look like a bowl or push it too back. So I thin it out and then I'm gonna line it up super natural but super sharp and then boom, this is the end look. If you and Laura Marilyn got an issue with your hairline, click the link in the bio of the book today. What the heck?